Hey guys, Luna here, and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be covering Enchant, Publish, and Test for Block. Now I know it's been, uh, um, I know I've covered these commands, and of course when we talk about tutorials before, that's to be expected. I should mention, I was having trouble finding commands to cover today, so we're getting to that point again where um, I need to find some new series to start. So if you have any ideas for a new series that wouldn't be super difficult to produce because I want to try and keep the weekly uploads up, let me know in the comment section below because yeah, this is a bit of a problem. Um, of course, I'm going to be working on the paint.net tutorials and the server tutorials, which I don't know if it's going to go out this week or if it's already gone out this week or if it's going out next week, but just know that the server tutorials and the paint.net tutorials are longer and they take a lot more effort to produce. So. Uh, without further ado though, thank you to my patron Shadow on Patreon for supporting me. If you want to consider supporting me, click the link in the description below. Uh, and we have- this is episode 16, so we have covered all these commands. Just hit 401 subscribers, I don't know if I already mentioned this, but as always, thank you so much for that. 400 subscribers is just amazing to me, and, you know, I was freaking out when I hit 50, so it's- it's still crazy to me that 401 people were like, you know what, I like this, and just click subscribe. Um, and the thing I should also mention is if by the time this video comes out, it, you know, shows up as like 400 or 399, YouTube does that sometimes, but, um, I'll probably have 400 by the end of that week again anyways. Um, YouTube likes to glitch out. And also, if you haven't checked it out, check out my help video for 400 subscribers. Um, and without further ado, though, I'm gonna hop into the video because I know some of you are probably waiting for the actual video. Alright. So enchant publish and test for block, all super useful commands. Uh, starting with the enchant command, I'm going to grab a couple of enchantable tools and show you how this works. Okay, we'll also grab a fishing rod and a bow. Um, and I'll also grab a stack of arrows, just, just to demonstrate to you how this works. All right, I'm also gonna end survival mode, which you'll see why. All right, so the way the enchant command works is that you do slash enchant player's name or a selector, of course. So if I want to select enchant everybody who has that item, I can do that. Um, then you're going to select um, an enchantment. Now, I'm going to first demonstrate to you that you can't put enchantments that you couldn't normally put on it uh, on the tool. So if I do enchant Rage of Games YT Aqua Fetty, because I'm holding a diamond sword, it won't let me enchant it with that. Nor will it let me add Aqua Fetty one or two, because, well, that's not really a thing. Uh, when it comes to swords, so I can also uh, go ahead and demonstrate to you that it does, this does work with, say, sharpness. When I put sharpness on it, notice it has sharpness 1. Now, you cannot combine sharpness 5 with sharpness 1. So basically, as soon as you enchant something with an enchantment, you can't re-enchant it. Which can be a problem, obviously, uh, if you're not being careful. So this also means, though, that um, things like Band of Arthropods, which cannot be combined with sharpness, uh, will not work. Sorry about that, uh, I accidentally put full screen on top of my recording. Um, anyways, what I was saying was that you can't combine it with something like Band of Arthropods because that would go ahead and break the um, game and it wouldn't let you add it with sharpness because that's not allowed in actually normal Minecraft. Um, I could, for example, add Mending though, and you know, there's no Mending 4, there's only Mending 1. Uh, or I could add, say, um, Looting, uh, and again, only Looting 3 is available. And all I notice, I have a sharpness one, mending, and looting three sword. So that's that. I'm gonna throw that away. Um, and we're gonna go on to the other tools. So, for example, I could do enchant wooden games efficiency five. Right, very simple. There it is. I have efficiency five. I want a pickaxe now. Everything breaks fairly fast. Um, and I did not mean to destroy that. Um, you get the point, anyways, with those tools. Um, now, of course, the fishing rods are a bit more of an interesting one because it has its own kind of set of enchantments. So I'm going to do enchant, wave them games. And you notice there's a whole list here, but we could only enchant it with a couple. So I'm going to, for example, add Luck of the Sea. And there we go. Could also try and add lore. Um, I can never remember which ones are compatible with each other because I never do Minecraft fishing. <laughs> um, but I could also um, you know, try and add Unbreaking. Another thing I should mention is you see this thing called the Vanishing Curse. And the Vanishing Curse is a very interesting one because it's one of these kind of new enchantments that's been added in 1.11. And so I believe what this specific one is, is if I die, nope, never mind, that's not it. <laughs> um, let me see if there are other curses that will let me apply, which interestingly don't appear. Um, let's see what happens if I try and add Vanishing Curse 2. Nope. Okay, that's pretty interesting. 
because there are some other curses, um, like one that makes you have to keep it. Um, so, you know, let's see. Are there any other curses, though? I feel like it should let me out of the curses. This is just weird to me. But anyways, yeah, there are different curses um, in Minecraft now. Let's see. There's Curse of Bindings, so I don't know why that's not appearing. Let me see. Is it Binding Curse? Oh, it is there. I just didn't see it, apparently. But yeah, I could add Binding Curse. And uh, that's not allowed on there. I think it's only allowed on Tools and Weapons. So, let me see here. And... Nope. Interestingly enough, it's not letting me add it to the item. So, I don't know exactly why that is. Um, because you'd think that you could add it. But just kind of something really weird. I don't know. Um, anyways, what the Curse of Binding does, though, or maybe it's for armor, actually, um, is it makes it so that once you put it on, you can't take it off until it breaks. Now, of course, I am both opt in and creative mode, so I can take it off. But yeah, I'm spam clicking on this right now, as you could hear that from the mouse, and it's not coming off. So if I go into creative mode, though, um, I can get rid of it. But basically, you can't you can't get rid of it unless you die. Um, it, it's pretty evil. Um, and then, of course, there are bow enchantments, but I'm not going to go over that because we're already three minutes into the video, uh, or actually just for this section of the video, and I want to go ahead and get to the other commands. Okay, so next is the publish command, and if I do help publish, you'll notice there's only going to be one argument, as far as I remember, and it's just slash publish. And what slash publish does, um, oops, I don't know why I have caps lock on, um, burn it. When I run that, it'll go ahead and host a local game on my, uh, on my computer. So what that means is if I go to multiplayer and scroll all the way down here, typically under where it says searching for games and on your local network, if somebody else had a uh, open to LAN server, it would be right there. Uh, so publish goes ahead and opens it to LAN without having to go through all those menus. Yeah, I have a lot of servers right here. Oh good, and uh, 22 cheese added that there. I'm so glad I added that because I would have completely forgotten. Uh, I'll, I'll have to say thank you. Um, Anyways, so that is the publish command, probably one of the most simple commands in the game, if not the most simple command in the game, because there's only one argument and it only does one thing. Okay, so next is test for block. Um, let me go ahead here, and there's test for block and there's test for blocks. So test for block, uh, you give it a, um, a specific set of coordinates, and then you test for a certain block. So for example, I want to test for a quartz block, because there should be a quartz block there. So you notice it did find the block. If I go ahead and say in the type in quartz pillar, or quartz ore, I mean, you notice it's not quartz ore, so it won't work. But if I go ahead and grab some quartz ore, then it'll say successfully found the block. So when you're in a command block, you could have this hooked up via chain conditional command blocks. Um, and then, along with that, we also have data values. So if you want to, you could go ahead and, for example, test this for wood. So what is a great example here? If I do test for, actually I'm going to do a set of 4x4, four four, test for blocks. Right, and then I'm going to do from 0, 5, negative 142 to 1, 5, negative 141. Um, and then, I'm not sure why it has another X, Y, Z, but I'll just put that in there. <laughs> Um, I think it's just because if you're doing relative coordinates, it needs a place to operate from. I'm gonna do all, because I, uh, actually, oh, you know why? Because it's comparing two locations, so, in that case, I think I know what to do. Um, I'll then have it compared to that, and go all, source and selection, I don't know, actually. I'm not I'm didn't sure exactly how this works, because I haven't really tried out this one before, admittedly. Um, let me see. If I do that, maybe negative one. Let's see. Yeah, I don't know actually. That's kind of interesting. Um, I'll probably have a Minecraft forum link in the description on how to go ahead and use the test for blocks command because I didn't realize that it worked differently than test for and test for block. Kind of interesting, really weird. But yeah, sorry I wasn't able to cover that. Maybe I'll follow up on the next episode. Um, but test for block is great because, say for example I were to grab some spruce wood, um, not spooks wood, um, you know, so what I could do is I could do test for block, oops, not teleport, test for block, um, 16, 5, negative 159, log, and you notice it did find it, but, so the oak log is 
a data value of zero. So if I add zero to the end, it did not find that. It actually has a data value of one, as you could tell, spruce 17 one. So if I put in a one instead there, you notice it did find it. So again, you could use the chain conditional stuff. Um, and that is about it for this video. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, go ahead and leave a like down below, subscribe if you haven't already. And if you're interested in joining my survival server, go ahead and comment down below with your username. And after the server reset, I'll go ahead and whitelist you and you could go ahead and join the server. So yeah, once again, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.